Well, hello. I am here in a hotel room in Nottingham, um, but I thought I would film a quick video because something quite unusual happened earlier on today. I was on the tube on the Victoria Line on my way up to King's Cross St Pancras to get the train to Nottingham. And who should stride lankily on to the tube at Oxford Circus but Brett Flippin Anderson from Suede. He got on the tube, I looked at him, I thought that looks like Brett Anderson, is that Brett? That is Brett Anderson. And he sat two seats away from me, there were two empty seats in between me and him. And my heart was racing and I thought, what do I do? Do I say something? Do I say hi? I didn't. So I have no photographic proof, I'm afraid. Just the story. Um, I do generally believe that you shouldn't um, a approach uh, famous people when they're in their downtime. If, if it was like outside a gig or whatever, absolutely fine. But on the tube and also he's in the middle of the tour and he's obviously on his way to the next gig. I thought he's probably knackered. I won't bother him. I probably should have because I've seen on Facebook that other people who found him on his way to Cambridge got selfies with him so it might have been okay but it, it just you don't talk to people on the tube you don't approach people on the tube but I sat there with Brett Anderson two seats away from me on the tube for uh, between Oxford Circus and King's Cross and Pancras which was about three stops at one point he took his jacket off and then he took his jumper off I thought my god Brett Anderson is stripping next to me on the tube what is my life um and then I didn't realize I didn't sort of clock in my head where he was going to get off and I thought okay I'm gonna to have to sidle past Brett Anderson to get off the tube and when we got to King's Cross I thought okay I'm gonna get up and make sure I get past him in plenty of time so I don't bump into him and get really embarrassed um, so I did that and I sidled past him and uh, then he got up and got off as well <laughs> because of course he was getting off to get a train from King's Cross uh, because the last gig of Swade's tour is in Cambridge tonight and obviously you get a train to Cambridge from King's Cross so um, yeah and he, he somehow got ahead of me going in the escalator up to the barriers and um, I, I had to stop and get my my debit card out of my pocket so that I could get through and uh, I saw him go off in the direction of King's Cross and I thought okay I didn't follow him because I'm not a stalker, but I did look and check because I wasn't sure where the next Wade gig was and as I was in Cambridge I thought okay that's why he's at King's Cross. And it was very hard not to go to King's Cross myself and get on a train to Cambridge and go and see Swade tonight instead of going to flip in Nottingham for work, but I got on my train to Nottingham from St Pancras and uh, listened to Swade all the way up. And yeah, that was my exciting little encounter. I've missed all of Swade's tour this time because there hasn't been a London date. And I just, what with traveling to Nottingham every other week and getting ready to um, move house, I just can't travel for gigs at the moment. But uh, I thought I would share this little fun story about seeing Brett Anderson on the tube. It was quite exciting. It was my little, my little snippet of the tour that I'm missing. I got to sit two feet away from Brett Anderson for a little bit and um, yeah I probably should have said hello I should have said hello shouldn't I um, never mind uh, I just hope that there is uh, one last sway gig in London before the blue hour era is over because uh, it seems like it's been a really incredible tour and um, and yeah and everyone who's been seeing Swade I hope you've had an incredible time but that's it for me from now for now, from Nottingham, I will speak to you in my next video.